So then uh, I uh, came over, uh, Dr. Ishikawa came uh, here, um, and he recruited me to work on this uh, program that we now call AccuFuse. So this is a, a program that we're using now over in the um, treatment um, section. Um, you, this software, you uh, place uh, control points at the ISO center and then 10 centimeters orthogonal and do that on the DRR image and the portal image and then it will fuse uh, these two images so that you can use these bony features to uh, estimate the uh, patient set of error. So this uh, Y shift and X shift here is telling you that, well, this is always, always a beam's eye view. So this says that the, uh, that the field, this field here, needs to move over this way uh, six millimeters and go up and down this. So we've been using this in the hospital here for Oh, more than two years now. And uh, recently, uh, when I went to uh, Chicago for the Astro Conference, I, I wrote a, uh, we did a, an experiment where we got the doctors to look at two, just looking at the DRR and the portal image side by side, and just asking them, and we knew exactly what the, what the error was, because we, we uh, set it up. But we asked them, so what, what is there? And just by looking at it, they said, well, maybe it, it's two millimeters to the left. And we did that for a number of cases and uh, averaged them up. And then we, we got uh, four or five guys to uh, use the software and see if they could judge better the setup error. However, um, using the... Uh, this software, you have to, the human has to judge what the uh, offset is, and you have to, sometimes the human doesn't have, have confidence to judge. So um, we tried to make a, a, a automatic program, which um, uh, uses this concept of a, called a joint histogram. So uh, normally, if, if two overlying images are perfectly aligned, then the joint histogram will look like this. So this means that uh, for, for every grayscale um, pixel value on one image on this axis, and this is the grayscale on the, for the other image. So if they line up like this, this means that the images are almost perfectly aligned. However, if, you, um, sh if they're shifted, they're offset by a little bit, and that will show up very clearly in the uh, joint histogram like this. And you can compute the entropy from a statistics, compute the entropy of, of these two images and come up with this uh, mutual information um, value. So uh, the mutual information value is lower here. It's better, or it's worse, excuse me. So this is a worse match. This is a better match. So this uh, auto shift, uh, what, what it does, it goes through and uh, computes every possibility, uh, every possible um, combination of X shift and Y shift and rotation. It computes this uh, mutual information coefficient uh, and uh, selects the, uh, the highest score. So this is a um, very interesting problem in, um, they call it optimization how to find the optimal um, XY shift. So this is another um, topic. Um, we wanted to compute our own DRRs. Uh, normally the, the, uh, the planning software will spit out a DRR for us and that's what we use in AccuFuse. However, um, for uh, different kinds of uh, um, tools, we, we thought about, well, can we make our own DRRs and, and can we do it in a reasonable amount of time? So 
uh, we came across this paper by called the Student Student's Method to compute DRRs. So basically, it's the uh, same in computer graphics. You have what you call ray tracing. So when you see all these movies like uh, Toy Story and all these Pixar animated um, films, that they use a method that's called a ray tracing, which is great, but it would be uh, way too slow to compute a DRR within a, in a few seconds. It would take hours to compute a D DRR with uh, normal ray tracing. So um, the Siddons method, uh, it's the same, uh, it's the same concept of ray tracing, which ray tracing, uh, instead instead of starting at the point source of photons, in reality, photons come start here at the source, and they pass through the patient, and they land on an imaging plate. Which is, you could uh, uh, do this with Monte Carlo. You could you could simulate photons passing through here and uh, hitting the imaging plate, and you could create a very realistic uh, a DRR that way. However, it would take hours and hours and hours to compute just one image. So the uh, ray tracing, the idea is to work backwards. So you know the, the uh, resolution of your imaging plate. Say you have 512 by 512 pixels, and uh, you work backwards, work from start at this corner, and go backwards and trace back to the point source. So in that way, you only have to do a if you're going if you're going forward, you have to do millions and billions of, uh, of photons. But if you're working backwards, you only have to do a 512 by 512, which is about 256,000, which um, you can do in a reasonable amount of time. So with this, uh, we can uh, project. Use, just using the CT data, we can compute a DRR from any gantry angle. By the way, uh, this is kind of interesting. If you stare at this uh, image long enough, it'll all of a sudden start rotating the opposite direction, which is uh, kind of spooky, especially around Halloween, watching this uh, image. Um, the reason for that is because there's no uh, uh, depth. Um, if, if to make a more realistic image, you should, uh, 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 um, how do you say, um, uh, Take into the fact that the, the that the photons are scattering. This is just doing a the photons are going straight. So uh, if uh, you, you had some clue to depth, then uh, it would uh, look even more realistic. But uh, normally, what we do this is good enough.